Hello and welcome everyone to today's Association for Manufacturing Excellence webinar titled AME Lean Sensei, Improve the Way You Improve. I am Jerry Strohmeyer, the Education and Training Program Coordinator for AME, and I will be your moderator. Today's presenter is Mark Preston, the President and CEO of Lean Applications. Mark has been driving change in manufacturing and supply chain environments for more than 25 years using continuous improvement, Lean. Mark provides practical solutions to help individuals and organizations get better at what they do, driving excellence throughout the enterprise. Mark is a Lean Champion for AME and has held several board positions as a member of the Southeast Regional Board and as a Director at Large for Enterprise Excellence. He is a member of the AME Awards Council and a strong driver of the AME Lean Sensei app team. He created the AME Lean Sensei Excel version for those unable to use the phone app. Mark is a keynote speaker for organizations across the U.S. and recently published his first book titled Southern Sensei. Before we start, just a couple of housekeeping items. You will be in listen-only mode throughout the webinar. You will see that you are muted on your attendee panel on the right side of your screen. If you have questions during the webinar, please type them into your question area in the attendee panel and click on Submit. We'll review the questions at the end of today's pre presentation and answer as many as we can. When you log off today, please check your email inbox, and it will be an invitation and link to fill out a short webinar attendee survey. Please take a few minutes to complete the survey today as your feedback is very important to us to improve future webinars. Mark has also graciously agreed to provide a PDF of today's presentation. We'll be sending that along with a recorded link for a webinar replay to each of you next week. Now, I'm pleased to introduce Mark Preston, who will present AME Lean Sensei, Improve the Way You Improve. Take it away, Mark. All right. Thank you, Jerry. I appreciate it. Um, for those that joined, I really appreciate you joining today. I'm excited to present the Lean Sensei app or the Lean Sensei Excel program that we've worked on for a couple years. And um, it's a really great tool that you can use that's free. Always good to have a free tool, but this one has a lot of value in it, and I want to share with you that value today. So we're going to go through uh, the foundations of how we built the app, how it was um, really created, the AME Award, uh, sure, an example that sure seal, how we actually came up with some of the foundations of the app, um, how the app works. We'll go through that step by step so you can see how to um, get the app or the Excel download how you can also print the questions out which is also now available so if you wanted a hard copy it's uh, in a good format so you can print it out and then any questions and and um, I'll try to answer those as, as we go at the end so that's kind of the agenda so AME Excellence Award means a lot to me because I see it as a great way for companies to really see where they are and where they stand against other world-class organizations and best practices. Of course, AME is all about sharing, learning, and growing. I think that sets us apart from most other conferences because it's a non-for-profit organization and all we're about is really how can we better manufacturing in, in North America and really take it to the next level. The AMA Excellence Award is not really a it's a competition against yourself, I would say. It's not as much of a competition against others, but it's a competition against yourself, and it's a competition against how excellent you really are in using lean tools and using continuous improvement and changing your culture for the better. The purpose of the award, it's not really to get the award. It's We, we call the people that receive the award recipients. They're, they're going to be winners personally, but it's all about receiving the award and receiving recognition that we're on the right track. It's not also an award saying you're perfect. Um, the companies that receive the award, every one of them knows that they're just uh, one or two steps up the ladder towards world class. They're continuing to eliminate waste and they're continuing to drive for a better place in the, the industries that they serve. One of the things that I like to look at is do you feed off of your competition's waste? If you ask any sales professional, they'll say definitely um, if they can't deliver on time, we can deliver on time. If our competition has bad quality, we have better quality. If they have 
uh, higher price, we may have a better price or better value to offer as a company. Yes, we definitely feed off of our competition's waste. In saying that, I would say that the companies with the least amount of waste and process excellence are the ones that are going to get the business, the ones that's going to survive in a, in a hard economic time, and they're the ones that are going to grow their business. So it's all about how do you eliminate waste and continue to improve. Now, many ways to do that, and this is just one way called the Lean Sensei app. Let's talk about the award a little bit more. The purpose of the award is to provide feedback on the journey, to really have a expert or a sensei go into your facility, read the report that you would submit or your application that you would submit, understand where you are, and then give you great advice on how to continue in the journey, continue to improve. If you actually go for the award, the best thing about it is the feedback report that you get from our judges that have been on the journey for multiple years and there's a ton of experience that comes either to your site for a site visit and there's a ton of experience that reviews your application and gives you feedback on it. That's what the award is all about. How can we really get better uh, in what we're doing and really set some benchmarks to achieve. The Again, some of these companies have won the AME award, or I, I should not say won, I know Michael would get upset if I said won, but received the uh, AME award in 2016, and you can see some excellence names up there, but they're excellent in many ways, and one of the key things that they're excellent in is process improvement. They uh, manage processes and lead people, not manage people and not care about process. It's all about how do you manage your processes, improve your processes, and continue to lead the people and culture in your companies. So see, these are some great examples of that. And so uh, the award is definitely a great thing to apply for. And if you don't win the award, you'll get an equal amount of success and and the feedback that you'll get from the award. SureSeal. SureSeal was one of my suppliers um, and when we first started they came to an AME conference, saw me speak about supplier development and Mick Will said I, I'm a supplier, why, why don't you help me in supplier development? Of course Mick wouldn't leave me alone, Mick's a great guy so I went to SureSeal as one of my suppliers. We went through there and we're like we have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of work to do on the culture, we have a lot of work to do on the uh, improvements and um, I can definitely help you do that. So spending time at SureSale was very valuable to me and one of our goals was in um, a few years we wanted to achieve the AME, be a recipient of the AME award. This gave us something to shoot for, it gave us a great target to shoot for, but the first three years it was all about setting the right foundation to do that, really trying to get the systems in place, the processes in place to achieve this. When we got closer, I would worked there 13 weeks doing the Honda Supplier Development Program Monday through Thursday and then I came back about um, one Friday a, a month and we continued to, to excel and to continuously improve and we would go to AME conferences and continue to learn best practices and really make those even better practices at SureSeal. So when we decide to apply for the AME award, the thing we wanted to do was how can we prove to ourselves that we are very good or excellent in every question that the AME award had on the submittal. And so in order to do that, you know, we had to have something showing we were excellent. Some of these examples that we have here are, you know, communication, customer programs, uh, visual management, really understanding how we're doing it at any given time, setting up root cause countermeasure systems in place, uh, recognizing our employees, not only the bad things they do, but the good things they do, and balancing that and really trying to drive world class. It was all about safety, using uh, Kanban systems, on-site plant tours. You can see all the different things that uh, SureSeal's tra 
journey entailed, and this is just a tip of the iceberg that they started to improve upon. Also, you probably have heard of the Lego layout. This is a ping pong table, basically with the entire plant laid out in Legos, down to the people, the trash cans, the machines, really showing a great visual management of Sure Seal. And you know, every time I go on a plant tour, I get lost in the first couple minutes, and it's really hard to see the the product flow throughout the plant. But by using this visual management tool. It was really great. We could get the employees involved, get them to give their suggestions on how to improve, and really tap into that intelligence out on the plant floor. Then we actually put plexiglass on top of it and laid out the future state, and then everybody could see you know, what the future state held and when we would get to that. Mick says it really well. People aren't afraid of change. They're afraid of uncertainty. How do you eliminate that uncertainty? And that's getting everybody on the same page communicating well and really understanding what's going on. So this is just one of the elements that we used as we wanted to approach world class in order to get everybody communicating and understanding um, what we wanted to change and how we wanted to change with the people on the floor. When we did that we set up a monthly calendar. Uh, each one of these columns is a month and the different Kaizen events that we were going to hold in order to achieve the future state. And so this was another good example of a uh, visual communication that we used in order to achieve the future state. Um, Mick is a genius visually, I think, and uh, one of the things he had in his mind is how do we really show the flow. And so we, at one time we had a whole warehouse down on 30% of the plant, and now we went to point of use warehouse. And then we wanted to go from uh, raw material and tooling to value-added services, which was yellow. Uh, of course, yellow and blue makes green. And then the green was the high customer quality down Main Street that was the finished goods parts that would flow throughout the plant. So it was a great visual in order to see how you put um, material, tooling, and value-added together in order to get an outstanding customer product. So when we got to a point where we wanted to apply for the award, we had to make that visual as well. So we put up each question or each element on the submittal form that the submittal form had for the AME award on, on a big wall in the plant. Then we put up a column that says visual proof, written proof, any benchmarks that we had seen, uh, gaps that we see in each one of these questions, and who, we gonna, who is going to own that uh, to continue to improve that particular element of the AME award question. This proved to be a really good foundation for the Lean Sensei app and how we wanted to show, give people the right question and then let them prove it both visually and in writing so that it's a lot easier to understand where you are and the gaps that you might have or the excellence that you might have in each one of the elements. I always say I, I've had several Japanese mentors, American mentors um, throughout my career and the best teachers or the best senseis are the ones that ask the best questions. That's why we called it Lean Sensei. I want you to think of this uh, assessment as questions from a sensei and how would you answer those questions. Um, we won't give you the answers. We want you to discover the answers. Of course, by discovering the answers, you become better and better at each element in the AME award. And so think of it as how can I prove, either in writing or visually, every one of these elements in the AME award? And really, that will also set the groundwork for me to improve those and if they aren't that way. So let's talk about the Lean Sensei. It came out in the last. Uh, um, national conference AME had and we were excited to present it. We've had a ton of people, we've had over 10,000 views of the Lin Sensei app and we've had a lot of downloads, either the Excel version which can be found, we'll go over that on AME or the uh, download from the iTunes which are both free. They're great free tools that you can use to see where you stand and uh, how to prove in writing, prove visually that you should apply for the AME award. Even if you can't prove it, 
I would still recommend applying for the AME award because the judges are excellent and they'll they'll give you some great feedback that's worth your time. So, how to use it? Evaluate your operation. So you'll look at we look at several categories: policy, deployment, safety, environmental health, uh, manufacturing operations, business operations, or lean in the office, ex extended value stream management, and then uh, plant results. How do the results reflect your improvements? So. Six of the pillars that are in the Excellence Award are the key foundation elements of, of the Lean Sensei app. This Lean Sensei app was not only developed by me, but also the awards committee. And there was a lot of uh, discussion back and forth. We used a lot of the training that several of the um, award and senseis that have been on the award committee for forever have actually put in some great time and effort into the uh, Lean Sensei app because it's basically how do you train an auditor to look at plants, um, how do you really judge plants, and all of this information went into creating uh, the Lean Sensei app. Understand how you rank. So we actually have created it where you can be benchmark your own scores uh, against past award recipients. So you, you'll see how you stand up against the others based on your own input and um, w which areas you really need to focus on and improve in order to make your company uh, better. It'll also help you create an improvement plan for the future. I like to use value stream mapping to create an improvement plan, but also the Lean Sensei and the questions that the Lean Sensei app asks you is another great way to enhance your transformation plan because it's going to give you where your strengths are, where your weaknesses are, and then you can go from there. Then we celebrate the lean journey. Um, whether you receive the award or not, hopefully you'll continue uh, to apply because definitely there's been several that haven't won it on the first try and they they continue to apply because of the great feedback they, they get and um, it continues to make them better. So let's talk about the Apple iPhone or iPad app. Um, start with uh, AME.org. If you go to AME.org on your browser, then you'll come up the, the front page. Under the front page, you'll see honors and awards. Uh, the first drop down is Lean Sensei. So you would click on Lean Sensei, and then this page would come up. On this page, you can either select from uh, Click on the icon, download from the App Store, the Lean Sensei app. Now, this works both on the iPhone and the iPad, and um, you should be able to download that very easily by going here. Or you can go to the Apple Store and put in Lean Sensei at the Apple Store, and it'll come up, and you can download the app also that way. So this would come up on your phone, and then you would, um, in this case, uh, view it in iTunes or actually you would download it from an icon that would be here uh, for the AME Lean Sensei app. When we look at the iPhone, the first thing that comes up is where you would register. You would register your email. I would recommend um, registering your email and some password you don't want to forget, but we also have ability to bring up your password again if you forget. So you would first register uh, your email and then you would also then use this to log in later. When you first uh, log in or registered it comes up uh, the AME Lean Sensei settings uh, it would come up uh, in a uh, you would see this little icon for settings and then the settings is it has all about AME how to use the Lean Sensei uh, which is a lot of the written description of what I'm going over now uh, requesting a report, you can change your password, log out, you can reset it, so start all over again, or it gives you an option to contact AME for any questions that you have. So this would be under the settings, and so this would be how you would go about um, if you needed some help in that regard. The main screen, though, would, would show that it has a report card link, 
and then it goes through each one of the pillars. So then you can see we have policy deployment. Under policy deployment, we have a management system and human organizational development. When you click on that, each one of these elements has several questions associated with it. So again, this would this would be where you would go. You would click on like management system. Once you clicked on management system, you would see that there's four different areas in that policy deployment, uh, management system, uh, leader standard work, uh, continuous improvement under the management system link. Each question, when you click on that, it has a um, definition or kind of a description of how we would rank the companies that are in continuous improvement. Your highly effective daily management program in place with involvement by many employees, strong evidence and most processes are stable and, and performance improvement is sustained. Performance metrics are timely, uh, visual and meaningful. They're used for effective decision making. So this you can rate yourself as an A or an A plus if you kind of fall into that category. It, in the uh, B, there's a B and C description, and there's also a D and E, D and F description. We put the letters like this because a lot of us are used to the report cards. Do we get an F, which I think means more than than getting a one or zero? Um, so we use the A plus, A, B, C, D, or F categories. So you actually go through and decide where you fall by reading these statements. There's 60 of these questions. And so each time you click on them, then it goes back and, and checks off, uh, like here, it checks off that you've answered the question. After you do that, um, then you actually would, uh, if you're not finished totally, you cannot get the report card. So once you've answered all 60 questions, then you can um, go and, and print out the report because you know we want to make sure you've answered every question A, B, C, D, or F before you do that. Another great thing to do is add a note. So if you're out there with your iPhone walking through the plant, walking through the gimbal, or in the office talking, you can add notes that would print out on the report. And these notes would be proof that you actually achieved an A or an A plus, or what are your gaps in that area? What are your gaps that you see for each question? And you can see as you do this, it builds um, a multitude of answers, which you can go back to and in incorporating your transformation plans. The iPad app. The iPad app is very is the exact same, very similar. It gives you a little more room, but uh, there's the same functionality. You can re see the report card. You can go to each one of those and continue to click through. And uh, again, the settings are exactly the same for the iPad. But also, it checks off when you've completed a section, so you know which sections you've completed uh, throughout. And again, the judging of the AME award is based very closely on, on these categories and very closely on a lot of the questions that are asked. Not exactly, because you have judges there, but very closely and that's how it was all founded and based on. Again, once you've completed under management system each one of the questions, uh, then it'll check off and you know then that the management system has been completed. This is another way to look. This is the questions that come up on the iPad. Again, you select A plus, A, B, C, D, or F and then it would you can also add notes, proof in the gaps um, through the iPad system. When you get to the report card, then it shows you kind of a graphic representation of how you ranked each one of those questions. And so, you know, are you poor in human organizational development? You're great in management system. You're okay on, you know, or kind of middle of the road on product development and unevenness. So it just gives you a simple, quick reference on uh, your report card status once you get completed. And so then uh, request a report. You can request a report and then get an actual PDF of all of the questions and answers that you gave 
at, uh, from uh, doing the AME lien assessment. The Excel download. The Excel download tool for those that don't have a, a Apple, it has a ton of functionality too and even has some more capabilities than the app and some of these capabilities we hope to uh, include on the app itself in a later time uh, when the funding and the budget allow it, I'll say. So underneath that same page, you go to ame.org and go to Lean Sensei under Honors and Awards, you'll see down below is the, um, if you don't have an Apple device or if you just want to download this to your laptop that's not Apple, uh, then you can download the Sensei Excel tool. And so just simply click on that and I'll show you in just a second. Also you have, um, I'll show you, there's a printout version of the AME Lean Sensei right next to that. Once you click on download the Lean Excel tool, it comes up like this. Here's where you click to download the Excel. Here's where you would click to download a PDF to print out of each one of the questions on the uh, Lean, Lean Sensei. So you click on that and then it comes up um, AME Lean Sensei Excel that was updated April 2017. You'll see once you click on this, do you want to save it? So you can save it then uh, into your computer. And then um, open it. So that's like normal. You've probably done this a lot. You download something, you can save it, and then you can open it. It's the same way if you go to AME.org. Uh, under Lean Sensei for the Excel tool. So on the on the tabs of the Excel tool, when you open it, you'll see how to use the Lean Sensei, which is a description of how to use it, um, and then also the Lean Sensei questions themselves, where you rate it, and I'll show you that in a second. A report card that's automatically generated from your inputs, a dashboard that's automatically generated a comparison analysis to uh, other recipients, and a privacy statement. Now, I know everybody loves privacy statements, but we, we have to include that as well. So this was what you would click on when you have the second tab open, AME Lean Sensei questions. Again, it's the same questions as the iPhone and the iPad app. Um, policy deployment, uh, uh, of course you have A plus and A, section, the B and C, or the D and F questions. So the best way to do this is to click on the little arrow where you would input, and it's a drop down. Let me see. I don't have that with us, but when you click on the arrow next to the where you put the grade in, it's a drop down. You select the grade, or you can just type in A plus A. I, I would recommend clicking on the arrow, and it would put in uh, what you need to put in for each question going down the Excel program. Um, also, input needed. You can put in proofs. You can put in gaps. Um, also, continuing over on the Excel, we have tools and training topics. So this particular topic, you know, you may want to look in more in strategy planning, strategic deployment, Hoshin, uh, value stream mapping. A lot of these tools and training topics are the things that I would recommend as you know resources to use when you go into this particular question. Another thing that we did, we put in a link, a hyperlink to for this one is introduction to Harada method, which is a webinar. This will take you directly to YouTube for a webinar. So what we tried to do was give you tools and solutions that you should review and continue to you know, look at because there's not too often that you you have such resources at your uh, availability. So all the way down each question, we tried to put in you know articles. We tried to put in um, different YouTube videos, webinars, free webinars, things like that that you can really use um, to improve. The next tab is the report card. So Whatever you put in there, it actually um, changes it to a point value. Of course, there's a total of possible five points, A, B, and five. Uh, um, so they actually got one point by putting in a D. So this would actually 
give us a percentage and then show you what you got on that category. So it's a nice report card uh, weighted out so we could actually show you each category and how you where you stand on each one of the categories for the AME award. And this is all done automatically based on just your entry of A, B, C, D, or F. So the total points um, is 300. There's a, and then we actually calibrate that with the AME award scoring so you can kind of see where your award scoring would be uh, based on your answers. It, it would be not exact because the judges may look at things differently, but it's going to be close. And that would give you some kind of benchmark on where you stand uh, against other recipients. The dashboard. The dashboard also takes your score and then it creates a, um, where you are on a spider graph based on each element. The stars that are here are where our award recipients ranked um, as an average over several years. So you can kind of see where you rank versus an average award recipient points, your company's points versus uh, where world-class companies that have received the award have, have, ran, have fallen. So it gives you another view using a radar chart, and it's all automatic based on the letters that you rate yourself on each question. The next thing we try to compare against um, the possible weighted points, your Lean Sensei weighted points uh, difference, and so you can see the difference uh, that you you're either on the journey or more focus needed in certain categories. Down here, it's your points versus average past award recipients. So you can compare your score to an award recipient score, and you can kind of see where you fall. And you know, it really keeps you on the journey. I'm not saying you know. I think this would be a great tool to use um, at the most once a month, but once every three months is probably more realistic to see where you fall after your improvements every time against uh, previous award recipients for the AME award. The printout version um, looks like this. Uh, the team put together this and it's actually you select one, uh, you know, it's, it would print out just like this so you could see the questions, work together as a team, uh, write the proofing gaps there, and this all prints out on a report so you can go through each one uh, on a written report. So just go to that print version. This just uh, was placed on the site a couple weeks ago, so it's one of the things we worked on, and uh, we put this on the site right next to the Excel. Uh, download. This is a better picture of it, but basically this would print out on your eight and a half by elevens, and then once you print out the report, then you can actually take time and read it if you don't want to read it through the iPad, through the iPhone, or or online or on the Excel document. So I think I've taken you through the Lean Sensei. But I really would love to hear any questions that you might have. I think um, it's a great tool, and we it's, it's being uh, downloaded as we speak. So uh, I would encourage everyone to take time out, um, take a look at it. It's not going to cost you anything. And this is a free resource that AME is offering uh, so that you can make your companies better. It's all about share, learn, and grow, and this is one of those things we're sharing and uh, we'll continue to uh, help your companies grow as manufacturing in North America. Uh, any questions um, from the floor, Jerry? Okay, great. Thanks, Mark. And uh, now, as Mark mentioned, we will review any questions. So if you do have any questions, please submit them on the right side of your screen. And actually, one to start off with, um, hi, Mark. Was the Lego model of a new process or previous? If previous, how did you illustrate or differentiate from what was actually happening in the process? Um, the, uh, the original Lego layout was of the current state. So um, Mick and the team actually built the whole thing as the layout and the current state of the operation. And then 
we had teams come up five at a time with sticky notes and we would have them place ideas on how to improve each area so then they would put sticky notes on their uh, area that they work in and get their ideas we took all of those and then we put plexiglass on the current state above it and then we laid out the future state based on the suggestions that the employees gave great thank you um, the next couple are pretty much the same. Um, is there a plan to deploy the app on the Play Store for Android devices? So will there be an Android app? Um, that's why we did, I did, we did the Excel version um, and it, it's to be determined. Some of the things on our priority list, if the budget allows, uh, and probably towards the end of the year, we'll know more about this. But my, my hope is that you can apply online, uh, we can judge online, we can give feedback online. Uh, currently, there's a lot of waste in our own processes where we have to download a PDF, fill it out, email it in, then we're emailing each other as judges, and there's a lot of uh, waste involved in the process that we can eliminate and make a, a more world-class even through AME's processes. Um, the Android app may fall down the list from that, but that's why we wanted to make sure everybody had capabilities to uh, download it through the Excel version. Great, thanks. Um, actually, someone had a question, how is Mick doing? And hopefully he's doing well. He's doing well. Great. Um, another question is, what would you suggest for organizations with, with diverse lean activity and results? Multiple groups? Yeah, that would be a, um, one strategy. Um, I think you can divide these questions out among the areas of expertise. So like the questions on quality might be answered by the quality department. The questions on um, the operations might be answered by the operations team and then come back together and uh, go through the app together as a, as a multifunctional cross-functional team and answer the questions and put in the gaps that each one of the departments or the, each one of the areas found uh, so you can roll it all up into a nice uh, how did we do as a team but you know if you have somebody in purchasing they may not know a lot about the uh, 5S that was done in the uh, assembly department. That's why I would probably divide and conquer, but that's that's what's also nice about printing out the report, dividing the questions out, giving them out, have them fill them out, and then go to the, the Lean Sensei app and fill it all out as one uh, assessment. Okay, great. And uh, Dave just uh, gave us a suggestion saying that the app should work with any Android that has access to Excel. Most Samsung smartphones include the software. So thanks, Dave, for that. Um, the next question is, does the app download into the Excel, or are they separate? Uh, separate. So um, we haven't gotten that far yet, but they are definitely separate. So. Um, you need to use one or the other, or you can use both and then put them all into one, but it's uh, they don't work together. Okay, great. The next question is, how would you handle non-productive locations? Um, if you go through the questions, there's a ton on culture. Um, there's definitely culture across service organizations as well as others. There's a ton on uh, you know, I think you can go through there and see that each category could also um, work in any service organization or, or non-production organization because uh, you are producing, even in a hospital, you're producing things, uh, you're flowing people through the, the hospital, you're looking at lead time, you're looking at value stream mapping, there's a lot of other tools that you're using, although you're not producing an actual uh, assembled product. Uh, I would suggest that if you look at your different processes, there's there's still a lot of similarities. Okay, great. 
and I think this one's sort of similar. How do job shops try to adapt to this? Seems like this was more for high volume manufacturing. Sure, Seal is a job shop. They'll tell you all day, and um, I'm using this in in several. Of course, e even in doing lean, it's a lot easier to do it if it's high volume, low mix than if it's low volume, uh, high mix. But um, you still need the right processes in place. You still need uh, there's key factors. I look at 80-20 rule a lot. 80% of what we do has similar processes. So I look at that when I go do a value stream map or when I do a uh, an improvement project. So whether it's a, you know, again, SureSeal is a great example of being a job shop doing custom work, uh, but then continue to improve using the questions. Okay. Uh, we have another one. Who is using the app as a tool other than individual companies? Um, not sure. I do know that uh, consultants are using it, me being one. Uh, one of the things that I've, I've worked, I'm working with Bathfitter in Springfield, Tennessee, and they're an excellent company. They've taken the tools and definitely I believe they'll be applying soon uh, one of these days. And they've used the app to go through their systems and make them much better and better great visual management, great process control, and uh, good lean culture going on there. I've also uh, used it in uh, Neptune, uh, Neptune in Tallahassee, Alabama. They're a great team as well, but you know, you can be you can be good, but this, this app also, the questions on it is intended to make it great and excellent. So there's always that one question that you might go through and say, hey, we need to work on this. And uh, that's the whole purpose. Great. Uh, another question is, from your experience, what is the most beneficial approach to introducing continuous improvement elements to a culture that struggles to navigate change? Ooh, this is, a, this is getting some deep questions now. I would definitely ask you to call me because I got plenty of ways to do that. But <laughs> uh, I, away from the Lean Sensei app, I think uh, it's all about engagement and how do you get people engaged. My definition of lean, just this is off subject, but lean is living, engaged, attitude, now. Are you living it? Are your people trying to find their car keys all the time or do you have the three second rule at home where you can find anything in three seconds? Are you living it? You can see by people's cars, their garages, their, their home life. Why not do lean? Why not be more efficient and productive and have more time with your family? So are you living it? Are you engaged? Are people just um, working for a paycheck? I know we all work for a paycheck, but are you engaged in giving suggestions of improvement to grow the company and to grow your own personal development? How are you engaged? Are people just doing it because or are they being proactive? You know, a, a big thing is to be proactive than reactive, and Lean Sensei helps you do that as well. Um, attitude. When I walked through SureSeal the first time, not a good attitude. A lot of uh, people looking away from us as we walked through, a lot of people uh, frowning, no smiles, uh, no conversation other than when asked. So attitude is contagious if it's a bad attitude. Attitude is contagious if it's a good attitude. So you have to really try to have a cultural change where you have a good attitude in the plant. So what's the attitude like? And then there's no better time to improve than now. There's no better time to download this, find one or two questions, even at that simple level, uh, that will make you better. And again, take these questions as if they were being asked by a, you know, a whole group of people, which they are, uh, on the awards committee, tons of experience, these questions then can drive you to the next level. But again, are you living it? Are you engaged? Do you have right attitude? And there's no better time than now to improve. So cultural transformation has to be a way where people are involved, they're not intimidated, there's good communication, and so there's a lot of, uh, I mean, you just don't get there overnight but there's some techniques and tools that you can use to really um, improve. Uh, there's a free webinar called Rattlesnake Hunts, 
and it's like 5S on steroids, and that seems to be a fun way to do 5S on, you know, 5S and really get people engaged. So there's many multiple ways to do that. Great, thank you. That's a great uh, explanation. It looks like there's one more question. Um, what do you have planned to enhance the app in the coming year? Um, we're going to continue to make sure that you know we provide. And so if you have feedback on how you you would like to see questions asked, or if you have feedback on how you can uh, improve it, we're always open to that. So you can send those to AME, as well as um, you know, based on our budget, um, we're going to look and see what we can do to continue to get those links on the iPad and iPhone like I have on the Excel version, um, but also continue to uh, put more links as far as solutions and places to go to help you on each one of those questions. Okay, great. And I think uh, we've got another question, and it says, Rattlesnake what? If you want to explain a little bit more about your rattlesnake hunt, that would be great, Mark. Well, a rattlesnake is something that will bite you if you see it, bite you if you hear it. If you're around it long enough, it will bite you. So it could be a safety issue, a cord on the floor you're going to trip on. Uh, it could be a quality issue. It could be a 5S, something that's not world class, something that might turn the customer off. These are all snakes that might bite you. So we get teams of three to five people. And the first day we go hunt rattlesnakes and take pictures of them and put them on the wall. And then the next two days we kind of kill as many as we can by um, uh, taking the after picture of it being fixed. But I won't I won't go on. That's a, something that you know I do when I consult. But I think uh, there's a free webinar on YouTube and uh, email me, uh, call me if you need if you need anything like that. I'll be glad to share with you. Okay. Great. Um, maybe you might want to go to your slide with as the email address. Oh, sorry. No, that's okay. So, uh, Excellent Award. This is the Excellence Award site, but just go to ame.org. It's a lot easier to do that. Um, or And you can actually get to the iTunes and the Excel by going to ame.org. We went over all of that already. Uh, there's also a LinkedIn and a Facebook page for AME. This is a great place to also get information. And um, also you can ask questions and there's a ton of people that are associated with these groups that will be glad to give you their feedback. So one of the key things to go to an AME award event, uh, an AME event, is networking. And um, so go into these LinkedIn and Facebook. I always tell people when they go to the annual conference, one of their key goals is to come back with 50 business cards on 50 people that you met at the conference that you can call up and ask them what are they doing in this regard. So you can also use the LinkedIn group, the Facebook group, and uh, Twitter group in order to do those kind of things as well. So thank you very much. This is my email address. Um, and my phone number if you have any other questions about Lean Sensei or anything uh, that I might can answer, I'll be glad to help you with that. Also connect with me on LinkedIn. I always uh, like to meet new people and, um, and work with you. Great. Well, thank you everyone for all of your questions and thank you, Mark, for this presentation and all your efforts on the AME Lean Sensei. We do appreciate that. This brings our webinar to a close. Please remember to download the free AME Lean Sensei app on your iPhone or iPad located at the Apple App Store. After completing the questions, please be sure to go to Settings and then to Request a Report to be emailed to you. If you do not have an Apple product, as Mark mentioned, please go to ame.org slash Lean Sensei to download the Excel document. Be sure to read through all the tabs um, on the spreadsheet just as Mark indicated. And we are in the process of scheduling future webinars, so please check out our website at ame.org under the AME Events and Training tab for more webinar information. And please don't forget to fill out the short survey that will be in your inbox today. And thank you, everyone, for attending, and have a productive day. Thank you.